I sold four bread plates. Nice sale. Let's get them packed. I sold four bread plates. I couldn't show you getting them off the shelf because they were stored in my garage in a box. Okay, two piece lot Mikasa Spring Sonata bread plate. And I sold two lots of two, so I have four plates here to pack. And they sold for $35.90 plus shipping plus tax. The discount that you see here, $3.60, is something that I offer when they buy more than one lot. That's how I do my dishes. Nice sale. Let's get them packed. First thing I'm going to do is wrap each plate in tissue paper and one sheet will do. And add a piece of tape. Next we have two options. We could either use quarter inch bubble wrap or I have these foam sheets that I've been starting to use and I think I'm going to use this today. By the way, yes, I have a bright floral print shirt on. We're going shopping today. It's hot. And and Mark, my husband, said he'll be able to find me in the store. So there you go. <laughs> Normally I wear solid colors. Well, for videos I do. I'm going to fold each corner in and then I can get by with only one piece of tape. And this is masking tape. Let's repeat the process for the other plates. You can see I just fold that top part under a little bit and tape it. Take a sheet of foam, fold in each corner, fold those down a little bit, fold in the other corners, and as I said you can get by with one piece of tape. Tissue paper and then foam. And this one is done as well. So I have four. I have four plates and I still like to alternate these with styrofoam plates. Even though they're a little bit bigger than the plate, I'm going to use these. One goes on the bottom, put a plate. We're sandwiching these. Styrofoam plate, the real plate, styrofoam, the real plate, styrofoam, the real plate, styrofoam. Yes, I make a big sandwich. Now mind you, this is going to go into a box that is eight inches high. So we're good. And because I've wrapped each of the plates separately, I can tape all of this together. It's going to take a long piece of tape and I'm using masking tape. And I just start on one side. I'm pushing down a little bit, take it down and wrap it around the bottom. Then I do the opposite side. Get a long piece, pushing this down gently take it to the bottom and press it down. Make sure your tape is pressed down. And then do that on opposite sides again. Start at the top, make sure it's pressed down, lightly pressing on the plate stack, press it down on the bottom. One more to go. I have never had any breakage with this technique, at least not yet. Hopefully never. It works, so that's why I keep doing it. Okay, we have our plate sandwich. I get a lot of positive feedback from my buyers that buy plates because of how I package them. All right, now we need some large bubble wrap. Sheets of this, probably two and two more. These are always 12 inch squares to one direction and to the opposite direction. Let's see how we did. All right, you can basically fold up whichever part you want. And I hope I allowed enough. Yes, it's going to make it. I'm going to center this up a little better. I'm going to, now, I didn't quite make it on this piece, but that's okay. I'm going to tape it and then fold up these ends, and they're probably not going to make it all the way either, but that's okay. I'll be adding more bubble wrap when I put it in the box. And tape. I can fold these together, fold these up a little bit. You know, I call these wings. Sometimes I leave them. 
and maybe I will today. Just going to tape this down, turn it, need a longer piece for this, and tape this together. So it looks pretty good, and yes, I need to take a measurement. I, I've got nine inches here, and I'm going to be using a 12 by 12 box. The height is what I need to decide. I have a box that goes to six inches. This comes to five. Or I have a box that goes to eight inches. Which one would you choose? I know it'd say, oh, six inches, I use less packing material. But I'm not so sure. I'm more comfortable with eight and putting some air pillows in the bottom or more bubble wrap. So I'm going to go grab a USPS 12 by 12 by eight box. Let's add a thank you label. It says, thank you, shop again, Avante Avenue. Just run them 30 up on a sheet of labels. Set this aside. I'm going to be using a 12 by 12 by 8 USPS box. Let me get it assembled. I cross tape the bottom, flip it over, and as you know, I always say put a piece of tape on this seam. Look at this again today. The boxes are not being assembled very well. That could come apart. So add some tape to your side seam. It's a simple thing, just make it part of every box. A little tape on the side seam. Let's do a test fit, although I know I'm good. Ooh, got lots of room in here. I don't know, do I wanna do that six inch high box today? But because these are packed so well, I might be okay with that. Do I wanna risk it? Or do I wanna put air pillows in here? Risk it, air pillows. What would you do? I'm pretty confident in this packing. I'm going to go get a 12 by 12 by 6 box and try it. This is a 12 by 12 by 6 box. Let me get it assembled. And apparently this is not an eBay box. It has no eBay markings. No matter who makes the box, I always put a piece of tape on the side seam. Let's do a test fit. I think this is going to work out really well, but I need more packing material. I have some air pillows that I got out of something that I ordered online. Let's put that on the bottom. A couple of those. Start with that. And then I'm going to layer up more bubble wrap. This is the end of the roll. I'm going to lay a couple of pieces each direction. Place the plates. And you can see there's a lot of room on each side. We will fix that with more air pillows. I buy these. Because I sell so many different things, every time I sell something, it's like packing for the first time. Okay, I'm going to add some more bubble wrap on top, tucking it in, tucking it in on the sides a little bit. Let's check the flaps. No, it looks pretty good. It's pretty tight. I don't think anything's going to move around. I feel confident with the amount of packing material I have on the plates. So let's get this sealed up. I always push everything together, the sides in. I push the flaps together. Get your tape, press it down, push this, press it down, and press it down. Cross tape. And when you use good tape, you don't have to go all the way around and around and around. Like when you use that cheap eBay tape, which I do not use. A lot of people do, but you have to use twice as much of it. I'm not sponsored, but you know, I use the um, Scotch heavy duty packing and shipping tape. I think we're good. Flip it over. On the back side, I take a pen. Somewhere near the edge crush test information, I put the first and last initial so that I don't get my shipping labels mixed up. It's rare that I ever have a duplicate. It has happened, but it's rare. This package is going out to JW in Georgia. Let's get it in the mail.
Simple Sales for Good Profit.